Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be showing you my recent lighting finds. Starting now. So first off, we have this. Another under cabinet light. It works. Let's plug it in. Here it goes. Pretty heat. So yeah. Moving on. I got a few more F8 T5 bulbs. Which you'll see more. More of. I got this whole bucket of T5s. Right here I got a dual F20 T12 light fixture. It's rapid start. Let's unplug this because we're gonna need it for some other fixtures. Alright, so moving on. Right here, we have a manually preheat F15 T8 fluorescent light fixture. As you can see, it works. I only paid six dollars for it. Right here we have another one, but this one's a dual F15. T8. I gotta find the plug for it. There it is. This one has two vintage Sylvania bulbs in it. Also, here's a plug on this. It uses one of these non polarized ones. This one has some contact problems, but it works. As you can see. Now, moving on to the big stuff. First off, here we have a dual F40 shop light. Let's grab this. Unplug that. Got this shop light piece right here. This came off of an old shop light. Well, some being thrown out. Here we have an electronic T8 fixture. Doesn't work. Ballast in it is bad. I have another one right here. Ballast in it is bad. This one's... Need, I'm gonna get a replacement ballast for this. Because a guy... A guy gave this to me. Saying that he needed it fixed. Here we have a... Vintage GE. Got it out of a trash can. Here we have... Another fixture. This one was also being thr thrown out. Um, it's going to get recycled though. Any parts that are still in there are going to come out. That's This thing's going to the recyclers. I mean, it's in horrible shape. Ignore the mess of wires. There are lots of my cords that I found. So, we have two of these GE Ecoax with Starcoat bulbs. Now for the other bowl. Then um, Sylvania Octron. So got even more um Octrons too. I I got like five five more right over here. As you can see with these Fiat Electric bulbs. Alright, so, now on to the big stuff. Here we have two 8-foot swim line, um, bulbs. I gotta make sure this thing does not roll away and fall. Because these things can break easily. I know where to swing it. Right there. Yeah, there's, like, no room to move these things. Here's the label. 75 watt. 8 foot. Now, I'm probably going to go back to that guy. Because next week I'm going back to that same person who gave me these bulbs. I'm going to be getting an 8 foot fixture for them. And the rest of the 8 foot bulbs he had. 
Now on to the light bulbs. Here they are. Got a bunch of F40 T12s. This one right here is a dud. This one I think is leaked to air. Got more in there. And yeah, it's intense. Alright, I think I this one. and of course stuff starts falling. So that's it for out here in the garage. But I'm gonna say there's probably about close to maybe thirty F forty molds here. This one's gonna be recycled right here. Here's another one. So now let's go in the house. So in here in my closet, here we have two GE kitchen and I'm well not kitchen and bath um garage and basement bulbs. These work. Um, let's see. But that's a 13 watt PL fluorescent light fixture. Yep, it, it works. Got a, another candelabra CFL right here. And then finally, up here we have. Some vintage GE bulbs. They're green. And some vintage GE soft white. Um, these all work. Both of those work. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya!